The realistic fact is that we still have a long, long way to go. Go. That dream that I had that day has at many points turned into a nightmare. Now, this is what we are faced with. And this is the reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. In 1960 in Houston, Texas, many African Americans faced the jarring realities of Jim Crow laws, which restricted African Americans' access to jobs, quality education, and public spaces. Like many American universities during this time, Texas Southern University was also affected by the turmoil of segregation, racial inequality, and economic injustice. Still, TSU students believed in a change for the better, so they took a stance. On March 4, 1960, TSU students met at a flagpole centered on the campus grounds, lined up, said a prayer together, and marched 15 blocks to Wine Garden Supermarket on Almeida Drive. The goal was simple, to be served at a lunch counter just as their white counterparts. But the symbolism was revolutionary. Their heroic protest would go down in Texas history as Houston's first sit-in demonstration. The event set in motion an even more aggressive movement among TSU students to eradicate Houston's segregation laws. Innocent African Americans became targets for hate crimes because of the student movement. Felton Turner was beat with chains, tied to a tree, and left for dead. But this only served to ignite an even more powerful fight for justice and equality they continue their pursuit for freedom. President Lyndon B. Johnson passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The Supreme Court pushed for the apportionment of Southern states' electoral districts. An American lawyer and Texas Southern University alumna, Barbara Jordan became the first African-American elected to the Texas Senate after Reconstruction, and the first Southern African-American woman elected to the United States House of Representatives. Following behind her heroism was a Texas Southern University alumnus, Mickey Leland, an anti-poverty activist who later became a congressman from the Texas 18th District and chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Throughout its history, students at Texas Southern University have set out to change one of the largest cities in the nation, Houston, forever.